Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to build Unreal Engine 5.2 which has just been officially announced for a Mac and without having to build from source and actually with a great deal of ease. All you will need is Xcode and a fast internet connection and an hour or two spare to wait for shaders to compile. Now the Documentation has been updated for 5.2 and it tells you that the minimum version of macOS you'll need is 12.5 for 5.2. Now with 5.1 you can install it on an earlier version. For Xcode you will need 14.1 and I'll show you all of this later on in the video. It does tell you some limitations. Uh, Nanite and also some hair, fur and groom and also Lumen are not supported for Mac OS at this time. The first thing you'll want to do is to download the Epic Games Launcher. Once this is installed, just click on the package and drag it into your applications folder. Beware of your security settings, click open to launch it and wait for it to do a quick update. Now on some Macs, this does not launch when you click it, just nothing happens when you double click it. If this is the case, hit me up in the comments and I'll show you a link on how to get over this. Once the launcher is updated, you can just click it and once it's up and running, you'll need an Epic account. So register with this, sign in and you'll be good to go. Once that's done, we wanna go straight into Unreal Engine on the left hand side. And what you want to do at this stage is just click the install engine button. And as I say, if you're using a Apple Silicon like me, 5.2.0. If you're using an older version of the OS, you can go with 5.1 at the moment. And I can guide you on how to do that. I've set it up on my own Intel Mac without any issues. Right now it's time to go for a coffee and come back as this will take some time depending on your internet connection. While you're waiting for it to install, you can go into your app store and type for Xcode. Now, as I said, I'm on um, Apple Mac OS version 13, so the latest Xcode works fine for me. If you're on an earlier version, you may need a different version of Xcode. But just be aware, 12.5 and over for this release of Unreal Engine, although versions 5 and 5.1 will allow you an earlier version of Xcode. I'm using an Apple M1, which is the slowest, it's a MacBook Air, the slowest M1 that you can get. And this is just an indication you'll see at the end of how Unreal actually runs on this machine. If you need an older version of Xcode, Xcode releases, and I have successfully tested version 5.1.1 with Xcode 13.4.1, running Mac OS 12 on a very old Intel Mac. And although it takes longer for the shaders to compile, it works perfectly fine. Launch Xcode and if it needs to download any prerequisites, go right ahead with that and then quit out. And you may need an Apple developer account to get Xcode. Now what you want to do at this stage is to launch your Unreal Launcher, wait for the shaders to compile, go and have a coffee and come back. And you can create a first person game, which is what I'm gonna do here. Again, you'll be waiting for some shaders to compile here. Now once this is all done, you will also have to wait for some textures to prepare and a few more shaders to compile depending on which level you've chosen. But you should see the screen in front of you if all has gone well. If you do get any errors at this stage, it is probably because of your Xcode. And as mentioned before, you need to launch Xcode uh, for the first time. Now I'm changing my engine scalability settings here to medium just to have this run a little bit better because on Epic, it's definitely not working on my Mac. Some of you guys out there, or girls, or anybody else that has a higher end Mac, please do report back and let me know how it runs on your machine. But on my bare standard um, 2020 uh, MacBook Air, this I will have to bring the quality of the shaders down to make it work. In medium, it seems to run quite well, but you can see lower quality shadows and also the gun seems to be of a low poly quality. Now I'm just gonna run a command here by clicking show FPS, which is gonna show my frames per second. This is running at a at medium. And as you can see on this Mac, I'm barely hitting 30 frames per second with hardly anything in the scene. So it's not running brilliantly, but it still works. And that is a bonus. I'm just gonna show you what happens if I do change it to a higher quality on low there. I think I do achieve above 30 frames per second with the quality really dropping there. And on Epic, it's really just unplayable. So this is just shows you 
how much use an RTX graphics card is when running Unreal Engine. And now for packaging, that is running the game standalone without Unreal Engine running in the back. I go to platform, Mac, and underneath my device, I would have to click update device here and ensure that the latest SDK, which was packaged with Xcode is installed. By clicking this, I'd now have to restart and then I'll have to wait for some more shaders to compile. And this will be the last time, well, for packaging, we'll have to wait as well, but certainly for launching Unreal, we won't have to wait for shaders to compile after this. Once that is done, I go to platform, Mac, package project, choose my folder, sorry. And the output log will tell us if there is errors, but with just the standard first person template, there shouldn't be any. This will take some time the first time, but if you wanna make any changes to your level after this, and you wanna package again, it should be a lot quicker. This could take up to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your machine. And once the build is completed, I can quit Unreal Engine and I can go into this folder and there is my packaged game. Now one thing you probably will want to do is to set up a, a way of quitting out of this which is escape or another key which isn't set up by default so you'll have to force quit to get out of this. But I've built my first game on a machine which is running at 30 watts as opposed to my 1000 watt desktop machine on a little miniature MacBook Air without even needing to plug in the battery for this entire process. Stay tuned for more videos, including how to package from Apple Silicon on 5.2 for Oculus Quest and various other tutorials on how to use photogrammetry for the Mac as well and some photogrammetry videos using Apple. Thank you and subscribe.